Back in the blend this morning, Roger Yoder, who is the author of the Ultimate Major League Baseball Series. Well, this is the Detroit Tigers, but you have others as well. Uh, Roger, it's always great to see you. This is such a, a great gift for somebody. For sure. or, or if you just yes. love baseball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Tell us about the owners of the Detroit Tigers. Well, they've had some interesting owners through the years, including some part owners, Bing Crosby and Tom oh, Selleck. I had no idea. <laughs> oh, Tom Selleck, as you recall, during episodes of Magnum P.I., would wear his tiger cap. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so he's a part owner, and he went huh. to spring training in 1992 with the Tigers okay. to prepare for his lead role in Mr. Baseball. Oh. And then uh, John Fetzer uh, owned a lot of radio stations. He was in an ownership group with Fred Knorr, who also owned radio stations. Okay. And uh, that's where Bing Crosby was part of that ownership group in the late, seven, late 50s. And then uh, up until now, the Illich family, uh, Christopher inherited the, the team from his father, Mike, mm -hmm. who was in the Marine Corps, came back, and then he was a minor league player for the Tigers and the Yankee organizations. Really? And so uh, later on, he'd buy his hometown Tigers. Huh, I didn't know so, that. See, this is why this book is so <laughs> cool. I mean, there's so many facts in here, and then also you have, like, great images in yeah. here, too. Yeah, Tell yeah. me about some of the images. Uh, so it's 574 page book, mm -hmm. yeah. but there's uh, almost 600 images. And uh, my source for those were from 1901 through the mid 50s was the Ernie Harwell collection. Uh, he donated his entire um, collection to the Detroit Public Library. And I could uh, use those. And then from the mid 50s to now, most of the pictures, uh, images were from the Topps Baseball Card Company. Talk about coaches being such an important part of the team, obviously. Well, coaches, uh, Back when they first started in 1901, there were no coaches. It was just a manager, and oh. he'd set the lineup, and he'd help them with fielding and batting and everything. But today, there's uh, generally a minimum of eight per team. So you'd have, like, the bench coach, who oh. is uh, an assistant to the manager. Uh, then you have a uh, first base coach, which we see, third base coach, okay. hitting coach, pitching coach. There's a bullpen coach, hmm. a coach that works with the defense. And then you have now with the analytics, uh, the more advanced statistics, someone who works with that. So uh, yeah. uh, quite a few parts of the puzzle. What I love about this is it's really a, a history book, too. Yeah. I mean, it's just it, it goes back and it tells you so much. And so if people are interested in, in getting this book, where do they go? How do they do that? Well, they can go to their favorite bookstore, and if they don't have it there, they can order it for you. Or you can go online with Barnes & Noble or Amazon.com. We're going to put the information right there on the screen. The Ultimate Major League Baseball Series. Uh, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you.